Well, come on then. Probably should use one hand and only open the or do that. Hey girl. Come look, look what I found. What could you have possibly found in a big ass What? Bunch of food or something? Oh, shit. Kenny's gonna love this. Whoa. I know, right? You're too drunk to see straight? No, he gets it. <laughs> I wonder if that's a legitimate license plate. Like, I know it's probably not a real one, but if that's like a legitimate like font, like format for it, I have no idea how that works. That's the kind of stuff I think about. So we got a plan. We got a boat. How's he doing, Doc? I guess we'll never know because he doesn't feel like telling us. Isn't that what you doctors are supposed to do? Old Meat's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news, or the bad news? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? I have a bad idea. Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. Amen. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? Man up, Ben. We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I could make a joke here, but that'd be in very poor taste. So I guess I'll not. You to stay in your room. How long have you been there? 
Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Clem. I just don't know. I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Oh, uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Well, that's not fair. Using my own words against me. Don't I come with you? Oh, don't give me that look. It's either here or leave her with Omid, who could die. Or... Take her with me where she could die there. Oh, goddammit. I'm not leaving her with Omid and Ben. Okay, you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. Yeah, that was probably not a good idea. But I'm not leaving her there with Omid who could die. And then, what, she screwed then? And then she, what, has to shoot Omid in the head? That's not gonna... No, 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 I'm not gonna put that on her. Or leave her with what, Ben? Hell no, I'm not leaving her with Ben. As shitty of an idea as it is, it's the best I got. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Molly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Oh, well, I guess the more the better. Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. You know, you should probably have, like, a, a dimmer color than, you know, bright orange if you're gonna try and be stealthy. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... I'm not leaving her alone in the house with only Omi to protect her. It's just not happening. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Thank you, Ben. I'm not sure why you're giving me a weapon, unless you're just too much of a pussy to swing it yourself, but okay then. Because that was not my weapon at all. <laughs> I guess if it, I guess Ben's realizing his limitations. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet. We stay hidden. And we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. So he goes up first. Making her go up second. Can't get a good look above with the cover on. <laughs> no shit. I'm just waiting for a click click here of a shotgun being aimed, being aimed at my head here. I think they're all asleep. That's good. Good. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? 
Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. All right. Let's just assassinate this man. For no other reason than to do it. Because he's in our way. What the fuck? I think they failed in their little survival quest here. It's a little disappointing. I was waiting for a governor. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! Inside where? I guess they're... I really was hoping for a governor type character when I heard about Crawford. Man, that's disappointing. It's just a bunch of dead people. Uh, we might want to use that thing to bar the door. Or just kind of push on it. I guess Fuck. that'll work. Fuck! Do you think they saw us? I don't think so. I think we're good. For now, at least. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? <laughs> Damn. Come on. I think I know which way to head. Ben putting his place there. Being whiny does- I got a bad feeling about this. Okay, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Except, you know, you're not nearly as useful. There, I was right. The negotiations were short. Yeah, <laughs> Lee's face. Like, oh shit. I guess that means there's dead inside. Just keep moving. I wanted to see what was in there. Here. What is this? Nurse's office or something? Looks okay. Everybody in. Seriously, what are we walking into here? Looks like a classroom, maybe? Why are we walking into a classroom? There's nothing of value in here, is there? I mean, we're looking for a battery. And, like, med supply. Yes, yeah, totally a classroom. <laughs> Look for a battery, everyone! A car battery, a boat battery. Oh, I guess that's why we're going in there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being a smartass. Figures. What a crappy HQ. A freaking school. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. <laughs> I guess the blackboard would come in handy. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Uh, that's on Vernon and... What, Brie? Brie, is that your name? Here. Just give me a sec. Well, it's been a second. Now what? Actually, it's been five now. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Heh! <laughs> Whoops! Just makes sense, doesn't it? Liar. Any idea where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. 
What about the fuel? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay. I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No. Two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. Give me a minute. Why Clem looks so worried back there. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? <laughs> You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? <laughs> I thought you liked Ben. Oh, okay. Back before you know it. I thought she liked Ben. And she's like, you're leaving me with Ben? I guess she's probably... I guess she learned from the whole, you know, him kind of leaving her to die thing, but... Okay, so we're in Crawford. Seems like a good enough pl good place as any to leave a cliffhanger. So, before we go... Maybe I shouldn't have brought Clementine. I, I don't know if that was a good thing or bad thing to do there. She's like, why are you looking at me? I don't know if that was a good thing or bad thing to do, though, but we did it already, so... I'm gonna bet money that, um... He doesn't get that door open, because that'd be far too easy in video game terms. And they have to make Ben screw up some more, so... Hopefully he proves me wrong, gets that armory door open, we can just kind of shoot our way out. But, yeah. You can go ahead and leave your, uh... Comments in the, vi in the things below, and tell me if I'm being a complete, uh... You know, idiot with the way I'm going about doing this, being very honest with people. And maybe I should have not brought Clementine. Like, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time, or next week, rather. So, farewell, everyone, until next time.